welcome to The Sam Show here on Angie Tay's YouTube channel. I am going to teach you guys today how to make a felt Christmas tree with felt ornaments. I love felt. <laughs> if you've watched um, The Sam Show before, you've probably seen a couple of crafts already that I've used felt for. But I'm excited to show you how you can really have fun with the ornaments and customize it and make some fun things if you have a little one in your life that you want them to be able to decorate a tree or if you you know want to decorate it yourself or give it as a gift it's it's really cute and you can do a lot with it so let's get to it hey everyone it's sam from the anti tay team and you're watching the sam show let's go make some fun things all of these files are from the Anti Tate membership and you can find them under holidays and specifically Christmas. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting all of the background out with felt using my Cricut Maker and my rotary tool. That's what I prefer to use. And then I cut out a bunch of glitter HTV and regular HTV and weeded it all. I love the glitter HTV. I think you want it sparkly and Christmassy, so you got to use the glitter. And then all I'm doing after I weed it is trimming them up, and then I'm going to match the felt pieces to the HTV pieces. And then I just use my Easy Press to heat them up because, with, especially with glitter HTV, it doesn't take a whole lot to heat them up and transfer them over. And so I just keep doing this. So for my ornaments, as you can see, I did a little of everything. I liked the gingerbread look. I liked the stockings and candy canes and then ornaments. And I even did a couple little animals. I just love mixing it up and having a little of everything. I That's how I am with my actual Christmas tree too. But here are the ornaments because that's all you need because felt sticks to felt. So now we are gonna make our felt Christmas tree. And I mean, really, it's a simple project and look how cute all these things are. I love this. Okay, and then you can't tell because I have the glitter side together, but this is glitter green felt. And this is when you get it by the yard at Joann's. They'll have it by the fleece. And I'm taking my Marvy white fabric pen and just drawing a Christmas tree. I am not the best Christmas tree drawer. One of these times I just need to make a stencil and keep it because I love to make these felt Christmas trees. But worst case scenario, if you don't believe in yourself, just cut a triangle out because I think the triangle trees are just as cute. And with a good pair of fabric scissors, you're going to cut out the tree. And as you can see, because it was folded, it should be equal on both sides. It'll be a lot easier. You won't have, hopefully, as lopsided as a Christmas tree. But you'll see, mine's not perfect. And you just trim it out. I mean, you can add as many layers and make it as big as you want. Mine was three feet, and I did not like the top portion of this. So that's the nice thing is you can always take more away. So I cut off the top of the Christmas tree and then I'm done. To stick it to the wall, I just use painter's tape. You can use um, command strips, whatever you feel comfortable with attaching it to your wall that you can take it down easily. But like I said, felt sticks to felt. So you just can put these anywhere. You can let the kids mess them around. You can make custom ones for yourself. Maybe you have pets and you can't have an actual Christmas tree. Maybe you wanna make a special fun one for your friend about memories you have. You can put custom names on the stockings with HTV. You can sublimate on polyester felt and maybe do pictures of your kids or pets. I think that'd be so fun to customize these. I wanna see you guys make them. Please tag me and Auntie Tay if you make them. Post them into the Auntie Tay Facebook group and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!